We're going to start out with a discussion of characteristic features of uh, the macroscopic systems. So in order to do that, we have to distinguish between macroscopic and microscopic systems. So what do we mean when we say if, if a system is macroscopic or microscopic? So this is our first topic, characteristic Futures of macroscopic systems. All right, so what do we mean by a macroscopic system? So let's uh, define a macroscopic system. Uh, macroscopic systems are systems whose dimensions are uh, much larger than the atomic scale. So we need to have dimensions uh, much greater than atomic dimensions. So we look at the dimensions of the system. It has to be much, much greater than atomic dimensions. So what do we mean by atomic dimensions? What is the length scale here? Well, if you remember uh, from Bohr model, for example, uh, the radius of the uh, hydrogen atom is uh, 0.5 angstroms. Uh, so basically, this is our scale, angstrom scale. So this should be much greater than the angstrom scale. And if I look at how many atoms uh, make up the system, the number of atoms that I observe in the system should be very, very large. All right, so number of atoms. Uh, and what do I mean by very, very large? Should be of the order of Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number is 6.02, uh, 10 to 23. Uh, so we were talking about a few moles of atoms and because we have so many atoms in the system when we try to solve this we're going to face a tremendous complexity because we have uh, so many atoms that are interacting in the systems uh, so we can give some examples examples of microscopic systems um, we can talk about gases hydrogen gas helium gas etc we can talk about liquids like water we can talk about solids like um, copper for example copper wire we can talk about biological organisms for example, the human being, uh, being uh, consisting of so many cells and so many atoms. And when we uh, have to deal with such uh, tremendous complexity, we have to introduce uh, methods that are not as rigorous as classical mechanics or quantum mechanics. So methods that rely on uh, statistical description of the systems. So we will be using statistical methods. Uh, so we can talk about the average behavior of the system and these will be used to deduce the essential characteristics of the system. All right. On the other hand, we have uh, microscopic systems. And microscopic systems, uh, as opposed to macroscopic systems, will have uh, dimensions that are comparable to atomic scale. So less than or comparable to atomic scale, that is angstrom scale and uh, we can give examples 
of macros microscopic systems uh, we can talk about individual atoms individual uh, molecules we can talk about subatomic particles like electrons we can talk about nuclei etc and uh, so in this scale i have here uh, the dimensions are decreasing going from molecules to atoms and to subatomic particles electrons etc so in the case of these uh, microscopic systems uh, which uh, methods do we use to um, deduce me measurable uh, parameters of the system uh, we use atomic theory atomic theory which is based on uh, quantum mechanics and uh, this is going to give us uh, measurable um, macroscopic parameters all right and for these systems uh, what are the relevant uh, microscopic uh, forces that we deal with uh, so relevant microscopic forces uh, in order to understand the macroscopic properties of microscopic uh, system we have uh, electromagnetic forces uh, these will be the dominating factor in uh, deducing these characteristics uh, for example other uh, fundamental forces like uh, gravitational force is too small gravitational uh, force is too small uh, when we don't talk about uh, what is going on inside the nucleus uh, the nuclear forces like strong forces uh, irrelevant in uh, macroscopic phenomena most of the time so basically the forces that we deal with are mostly electromagnetic uh, forces okay so let's give some more examples of uh, microscopic scale complexity microscopic scale complexity and you will see that uh, there are some uh, YouTube videos that I recommend that you watch uh, for more examples of macroscopic complexity uh, for example uh, as one example we can give a, a gas a helium gas uh, condenses very abruptly at a temperature of 4.2 Kelvin and pressure of one atmosphere atmospheric pressure uh, to helium liquid liquefaction of uh, helium this is a very complex phenomenon another uh, very complex phenomenon that's very difficult to understand starting from first principles or atomic theory uh, is the biological growth process so starting from a few simple atoms we reach a biological organism that's also uh, quite impressive 
All right, so uh, when we have this macroscopic scale complexity, I said uh, we cannot use atomic theory or quantum mechanics to describe the interaction between all the atoms and molecules that make up the system that would be uh, very hard to deal with. So what we do instead, we use uh, statistical methods, statistical physics which is the topic of this uh, course. And what does statistical physics uh, do for us? Uh, the idea behind statistical physics is to take advantage of statistical methods, use statistical techniques, methods, uh, for macroscopic systems. And as we said, what makes a system macroscopic is it has a very large number of atoms and molecules that make up the system. And what are the useful uh, parameters that we extract from the system? Uh, well, we will find out which useful parameters we can extract as we continue uh, our discussion in this course uh, what essential characteristics uh, of the system we can deduce and the statistical methods will also allow us to come up with some quantitative predictions uh, for order of magnitudes so typical uh, order of magnitude for quantitative predictions about the system. So if you have taken any course on statistics, uh, you will know that we, we deal with uh, the, the mean values, standard deviations, uh, the probability, etc. So all these concepts will be uh, very helpful and we will use these concepts in order to understand the overall behavior of a macroscopic system uh, in uh, detail.